call the uh, License Commission meeting to order for Wednesday, July 3rd, 2019. Um, Councilors President Brian Campanelli, late chair, and <laughs> Natasha Yakov. On time. On time. <laughs> texting from and home John, <laughs> not uh, present. So um, we are audio video recording at this time. If there's any public comment, I'll take that. Seeing none, we'll move on to item three application for short term liquor license. Vision Entertainment LLC. Saturday, August 10, 2019, 12 to 5 p.m., Northampton Center for the Arts, 33 Holly Street, local business day party, hustle and flow, wine and malt. State your name for the record, please. Good afternoon. My name is Brenton Jenkins. I'm here representing Vision Entertainment and KA Events. So uh, I told you guys I was at the last meeting. Uh, we didn't have all of our paperwork um, in order, but, you know, we have all of our paperwork. We turned that into Annie Let's Go now. Um, but basically, you know, we have a lot more figured out um, since then, and everything is going really well. We're going to be working with uh, Insomnia Cookies from Amherst. We're going to be working with Main Street Deli from Agua and Grilled Fanta Cheese from Chicopee. So those are our three caterers for the day. Um, we have our tip certified bartender. We're getting, you know, our vendors are filing into place with their applications and everything. So everything's running pretty smoothly. We released it to the public this Monday. Actually, so we're you know starting promotion and ticket sales and things like that. So there's a lot of increase with you. Did just because this is a sort of newer venue that's mm -hmm. hosting events, were you provided with guidance as to where to set up your bar? Uh, so not necessarily as guidance to where to set up the bar, but I have done uh, with my DJ company. I've done a couple of events in there myself. Okay. Um, and seeing where the bars are set up and like kind of where right. good spots are for them to set up. Okay. Um, so I'm sure we can talk to Melissa mm -hmm. uh, from that space and, and talk to her about where she thinks the best spots okay. are. Okay. So he was at the last meeting and presented their plan for this networking event. And the only thing, there were just a few pieces of paper missing, which he's provided, but otherwise, Helen and I didn't have any questions or any concerns or anything. Okay. Um, well, I was just curious about the, at 33 Center Street, how they're, you know, because they are having so many more events that are getting short-term liquor licenses, that if there's any sort of in-house policy that they have in terms of where the bars are set up, um, you know, much like if it were an event that were cordoned off, but since it's in an interior space with multiple doors, entry points, that was my primary question. Okay. And he's going to get back to us on that? Um, no, I think... It sounds like Melissa is going to work with you on the placement of things. And they have done several, you know, there's yeah. events happening at that yes. location. It's just, mm -hmm. I went to one recently, so I'm curious, like, how, when they're working with um, people who are throwing events there, how right. are they, is, how much thought's being put into placement of the bar right. because of the various entry points? So, um, I know in my experience, personally, uh, the first time that I did an event there, there was a bar upstairs, you know, they kind of that second floor yep. loft. Um, and there's only like one port of really entry right there. You can even right. come up through the elevator, um, which we're only we're pretty much shutting that down just for our vendors to kind of use and come up, yep. uh, come up and down. Um, and then the stairs, which will be blocked off, okay. and then um, everyone will have a wristband if okay. you're over oh, the age of 21. Okay. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. I don't know. Questions. I don't either. I'm good. I'm good. I will make a motion to approve the application for the short-term liquor license for Vision Entertainment LLC. For Saturday, August 10th, from 12 to 5 at the Northampton Center for the Arts at 33 Holly Street for a local business day event for a wine and malt license. Second, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you for coming back with the work. One question: uh, What uh, what are the following steps after this? I'll send you an email when the license is ready, and then you'll come pick it up and bring a check. Okay. okay. Gotcha. Thank you. Thanks, Appreciate it. Thank you. <clears throat> Item number four: application for short-term liquor license. The Good Dog Spot, Saturday, August 17, 2019, 4 to 7 p.m. Locations of Good Dog Spot, 139 King Street, Summer Santa, Yappy Hour, and Open House. State your name for the record, please. My name is Jennifer Ruelli. I'm the facility manager over at the Good Dog Spot, representing for Elizabeth Staples. Tell us a little bit about your event. Yeah, um, we uh, have been hosting the Yappy Hour event in December um, every year in Chickabee. We did one, uh, our first one here in Northampton shortly after we opened in December of 2017. 
Um, it's just proven a lot of traffic to hold both events in December, so we decided to split it up into a summer event for the Northampton location. Um, and it's basically for uh, our existing clients to come in and see the whole facility, see people that we work with, like dog trainers, um, different um, vendors. We also, uh, all the proceeds go to Thomas J. O'Connor and Rainbow Rescue, so they'll be there as well. Um, they can bring their dogs. We offer the uh, happy, uh, happy ale tail beer for the dogs, which is basically chicken broth and okay. stuff for the dog. And uh, the wine tasting, we're thinking of doing um, either wine tasting that we've done in the past with like three different wines, a red wine, a white wine, and then a blush. Um, or we're going to mix them into sangrias. Uh, the wine that we purchase is from Table and Vine, and we just buy it by the case, a few cases, and it's for all of our adult um, clients that come in, any new clients that come in. Um, the event is held from 4 to 7. Um, and it's just fun. We do pictures with Santa. We do paw print artwork. Um, there's other stuff that happens with the dogs. They take a tour of the facility, and it's basically so the clients can come around, mingle, socialize with each other, get to know each other. Um, there's many dogs in our daycare that clients play, you know, their dogs play together, and they may not know who they are until they come to this event. So it's a really good. Um, you know, think for the good dog spot for the community and for um, our local uh, rescues. Nice. And I do have a flyer if you guys would like to. <coughs> yep. Great. Just bring that up to you. Sure. Can you have parking in the back there? We don't have parking in the back, but for the event, um, because it starts at 4 o'clock, the gym behind um, okay. and the guys at the Auto International mm -hmm. allow us to park back there. Okay. And then King Auto closes at five, um, and they allow us to park there as well. Mm -hmm. And this is an event that you know clients will come in. They don't stay the whole entire right. event. They line up for pictures with Santa. They may have a glass of wine, and then they usually okay. leave. So yep. people are in and out. Okay. And all the works in order. I have no further questions. I have none. Then I will make a motion to approve your application for a short-term liquor license for the Good Dog Spot on Saturday, August 17th from 4 to 7 at the Good Dog Spot at 139 King Street for the Summer Santa Yap Hour in the House. Second, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thanks. Have a good event. Thank you. Number five, application for short-term liquor licenses. The Academy of Music, Inc., DBA Academy of Music. Location is 274 Main Street, Wine and Mall, and they request a fee waiver. Date and times that's filed is July 7th, um, August 22nd, September 20th, September 27th, and October 4th, all at 7.30 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. Can you say your name for the record, please? Melissa Cleary. I'm the theater manager for the Academy of Music. Hi. Thank Hi. you for coming. Thanks. Same as always? Same as always. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we have no questions. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. No. no. <laughs> Great. Um, oh, it is your first time. Okay. Well, so kind of. Yeah. So we, if nothing changes, then it's a pretty easy process to come in and get the short-term okay. liquor, liquor license approved because it's the same every time. Great. So until you, you, you know, when you do have a change, then just let us know. Okay. But not. But otherwise, I have no questions. Mm -hmm. I, I have okay. And I will make a motion to approve the application for the short-term liquor licenses for the Academy of Music, uh, for the dates and times as noted on the agenda. And I will also move to approve the fee waiver. Second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. See you next Appreciate time. It. Okay. Uh, let's see, number six, application for the, me, uh, application for a fine one, farm winery li liquor license. Um, Outlook Spirit DBA, Outlook Farm Winery, date and time April 27, 2019, uh, November 9, 2019, 8 a.m. to 1 p.m., 8 Gothic Street, Saturday Farmer's Market. Um, farm winery liquor license. It's to, for us, if we have that, it's for us to serve at, the, uh, to sell at the farmer's market. I see. Okay. Have we done this before for you? Yeah. yeah. The past two years we've been doing yeah. it. Okay. Um, Do you say your name for the record? Jeff Morris, for that with Farm Warren. Thank you. Thanks. <clears throat> Yeah. 
if everything's the same as it is the last two years? I think the difference is we're going to we're going to give samples this year. Oh, okay. So we check we check that box because yep. people people are asking. So. Okay. Yeah. Great. All right. No questions. Yeah. Yes, I will make a motion to approve the application for a farm winery liquor license for Outlook Spirit DBA Outlook Farm Winery for April 27th through April 9th, 8 a.m. to 1 a.m. Saturdays at the 8 Gothic Street Farmer's Market. So this is for a farm winery liquor license. Uh, second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you very much. Okay. Can I just wait to hear from you? Yes. Oh. Yep. Yep. Okay, great. Friday. Thank you. Thanks. I have a number seven application for short term liquor license, the beer guy. Let's see. Wednesday, July 24th, 2019, 4 to 7 p.m., 35 Con Street, open house, ribbon cutting for Haydenville Woodworking and Design, wine and malt. Hello. Hi. Dan Capriati, beer guy, LLC. All right. You've been here before, yes? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I do events at Lone Park. Right, 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 right. I guess a new yeah. business is moving into your town. Yep. Right, there. yep. So. right down the street here. Yes. Yep. That's awesome. Um, so it's your usual setup? Yeah. We bring, we bring the trailer. Uh, we're going to set up there. I know she's going to have uh, food and they, they want to do a grand opening with a small little champagne toast for their for all their new clients and their other clients that they've done. Kind of like just an appreciation of Show them what they got, show them what they can do, and sure. you know, expanding their business. They're great. growing. Excellent. That's great. Do you, do you know how you're going to be set up? I don't know how I'm going to be set up. I'm almost positive I'm probably going to be uh, backside to the, the the three doors on the barn that's over there. And then I think she's going to put a, a, a some type of food on the left hand side. I think she wants to do hors d'oeuvres and little finger foods. And then they're going to do a ribbon across the side of the building where the deck is that goes this way. And then they're going to have everybody stand behind it. And they want to cut the ribbon and do, you know, look, welcome to our yeah. welcome to our new, our new business. Yeah. Excellent. I guess she's asked the mayor to show up there. And mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Oh, that should be nice. I don't have any questions. I handle the mayor's sketch the calendar. I mean, I don't have anything. Really? So maybe if you see her, just mention I'll, I'll send her an email yeah. because that's what she said. She wanted the mayor to come yeah. by. Yeah, no. She was all nervous. She was all nervous when she called me. Oh my God, you gotta get down there tomorrow. Um. <laughs> that's when she called me back. I said, I'll, I'll swing down there, no problem. Yeah. <laughs> well, I have no other questions. I'm no. happy to see you here again doing another event. I also, gonna, I also am gonna do the Megan's, the Megan's Run and Look Park again this year. I'll okay. get my paperwork in next month for. For Megan's light run. Great. We had a good time last year. And it even stopped pouring. Yeah. Okay. Good. Not pouring beer, but it stopped pouring rain right. that day. Perfect. <laughs> All right. I will make a motion. You ready for motion? Please. I'll make a motion to approve the application for short term liquor license for the Beer Guy LLC for Wednesday, July 24th from 4 to 7 at 35 Con Street for the open house ribbon cutting for Hayden Open Working and Design. A second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice weekend. Have a good you fourth. You bye bye. Item number eight, application for an amendment to an entertainment license. Doc, Oil and Company, LLC, DBA, Caminito, 7 Old South Street. Proposed additional entertainment, outdoor movie screening on patio. Is no one here for that? No. Okay. Number nine, application for change of manager on all alcohol restaurant license. One Bridge Street, Inc., DBA, Spoleto. One Bridge Street previous manager William Collins and proposed manager Cassandra Hayes. That's you. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Sorry for being so late. That's okay. Yeah. Give me a minute to sit down. So you did you bring um, any tips info or no? Tips as far as like a certification? Yes. I just got my serve safe certification two days ago. I believe I have that with me. Okay. But that's not under the same umbrella, is it? No, the tips is separate. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Unless it's serve safe alcohol. Oh. It's the manager. Okay. So yes, that is required. That's the one last piece that I need. Yes. Yes. Okay. You'll need that okay. for sure. Before you can issue the license, right? Yeah, you can yeah. approve it, but before it gets issued. 
because it's not an ADCC requirement, it's a local requirement. Oh, okay. Okay. Have you ever been a manager with a liquor license before? I have not. No? Okay. Um, and I have been TIP certified before, it's just not current. Okay. And you know the code of uh, mass regulations? As far as, you know, well, whether or not you're on premises, um, you're responsible for any disturbance, violation, yes. or anything illegal? Yes. Right. Okay. Great. So, I guess pending any, you know, you know tips? Yep. Yeah. How long have you been there for? Like, I've only been there for like four months. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Were you hired as manager? Or I was not. I was hired as a server. Look at that. Oh. And I guess I'm going to help out at one of my one of soon, too, so yeah. <laughs> moving on up. Yeah, I heard they lost their manager there. Unfortunately. Yeah. Excellent. Well, I don't have any other questions, so if we're going to do um, this year's agenda, we'll do it pending. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so we'll prove it and then just we'll look at it. it and then so we can take it up if we have to. Because it's the issue it once we have the tip certification. Or we can just approve it and say something that, that can't be issued until the tip is done. Okay. Right. Okay. Then I will make a motion to approve the application for change of manager of an on uh, all alcohol restaurant license at one Bridge Street DBA Spoleto from previous manager William Collins to proposed manager. Cassandra Hayes, and the actual physical license will be issued once we've received the TIPS certification. Excellent. Great. All in favor. All in favor. Aye. I second that. Great. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thank it's you. It's tough having your mind on one and one three. So thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate Thanks. It. Number 10, application for short term liquor license, Michael Curtin. BFW Post 8006, uh, date and time Saturday, July 27, 2019, 12 to 5 p.m., 18 Meadow Street, Fig Roast, Wine and Malt. How are you? Good. How are you? Name for the record, My name is Tom Pease. I'm the commander. BFW Post 8006. How are you, Tom? Uh, hot and tired. Yeah, I hear yeah. that. Um, you've done this in the past? This will be our Fifth official should have been sixth, but uh, I had a little problem last year. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, and at the same location, parking lot, we put a tent up. We moved the uh, wine and the beer outside underneath the tent. The girls are all serve safe, tip safe, tips. And uh, we have food out there, obviously, the pig roast that starts at about 1 o'clock. We'll start. Well, between 1 and 2, we'll start serving the food. And uh, everything is, you know, as per. We have plenty of parking too because we use back side of the lot and the Civic Center lets us park over there. I do not believe in having an event where we let them use our parking lot and they use our back and forth. So I try to keep everybody off the street. How many people do you usually have come? Between 125 and 150. Oh, okay. Now it's $20 per person, kids 12 and under are. Uh, five dollars and twenty-one and over, you'll get a wristband. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's pretty much what we've been doing for the past five, yep. six. I have no further questions. No. All right. Then I will make a motion to approve the application for short-term liquor license for the Michael F. Curtin VFW Post 8006 on Saturday, July 27th from 12 to 5 at 18 Meadow Street for their annual pig roast. Second that, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Vanessa will come down and pick up the license. All right. Okay. When, 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 when will the license be ready on? Uh, it's Friday. We're back in the office on Friday. So. You're going to work? The city's working? <laughs> yeah. Really? Leave it? Wow. How dare they? Like a marriage they never do. Or six, Williams, I trust you. Approval minutes, uh, April 3rd, 2019. So one of them was um, April 3rd, you kept, it was you, it was, was you. Okay. So you guys can go on that one. Okay. And then June 5th, 
Wait, how are they? One of them was me and Brian, the other was me and Helen. I think each point. Yeah, okay, so June 5th you can't do. Okay. But April 3rd you can. Okay. Um, then I'll make a motion to approve the minutes from April 3rd, 2019. Second, all in favor? Aye. Aye. And uh, motion to table June 5th until Helen and you are both here. Second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Clerk's update. Recent audit of dealerships. So this came up before when Cindy was here. Okay, so yeah, the Office of Consumer Affairs conducted an audit of the dealerships. Um, two of them, they chose two of them. One was Ford, they were at 100% compliance, and the other one was Country Hyundai, and they were at 85%. So they asked that um, that the local licensing authority take appropriate action in making them, making sure that they become compliant. Um, yeah, so I drafted a letter. I don't know if you want to look at it or what you, what you, or how you want to handle it, but I feel like the letter is probably the best. The letter should probably suffice. Yeah. If it doesn't put in a certain amount of time, then the next steps. The only thing is that we have no way of going back out and checking to make sure they're in compliance. Hmm. Right, the compliance checks are random. Well, maybe that letter we just state that they need to send us copies of whatever they need to bring up to speed. So that to us as well. Well, they, so, they, so the law, the Lemon Law, is that they need to, all used vehicles for sale need to have notices on their windows or dashboards, and they need to be yellow. Huh. Or maybe we could just ask them to confirm in writing that it's been completed. Okay. Does that make sense? That works. Yeah. yeah. Um, by which, what time we give them? 30 days should be more than sufficient. Yeah. Okay. Maybe you can do that in the afternoon. Yep. Cars only allowed. Yeah, but it's only 15% of the cars. Right. So we need to have. Right. Okay. Um, I sent this email about Notch 8, um, but for the record, they um, paid it. A fine and low suspension amount of eight thousand six hundred and ninety dollars. So now that they're now their four day suspension is um, on board. Rescinded. Yeah, it's all yeah. gone. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. Parking taxes. I want two of them. Why is that? Because I have two vehicles and I can never oh. guarantee which one I'm going to be in. That's why I got to think about. It. I have the same truck with the uh, Well, maybe you're just going to have to put carry in your pocket or something. I don't know. Go plan ahead. Uh, it's a good color. Right. It is a good color. I like it. I have a new business item. Can we move on to the next item, Chair? business so now that it's nice out and everybody's setting up tables outside yes the folks who have are following what was asked of them in order to have outdoor seating and serve alcohol with the delineation mm -hmm. are in stark contrast to the people who are not doing it and I just don't think it's fair yeah you know so for example Moshi Moshi does it toasted out the police is not yeah yeah right across the street so yeah. Yeah. is and I know it's it's um, I don't know if you have a list of who the folks are who have the outdoor seating, but is there could we send them a letter, just a reminder that it needs to be done? Yep. I'm thinking of more new business, just to get another ten minutes out of you. Just kidding. I don't have I don't have any new business other than that, I don't think. Any anything from you? So actually I do. How do we, sorry, how do we, okay, so, I mean, I guess we could take a walk around and, and see which ones are, yeah, in compliance, which ones are. Yeah, or I could make no, like, when I'm out next and just send you a list. Yeah, I mean, if you, 
Yeah, no, you, I, I don't want you to make a separate point of it, but if you happen to walk by somewhere yes. and just like, send yeah. me a text or an yep. email. Yep. But I don't want you to. I mean, it's pretty much, Ama knew his table's outside, and I don't think that they have any barrier. Yeah. And they definitely serve outside. Yeah. I mean, they, they're allowed to. It's yeah. really toasted owl. I mean, especially if you put people like Nachi through the ringer for it. Bear Cruzana. And then you have. Well, Nachi, I, I get that, but they're like comparing Amadou to Nachi to kind of apples no, no, and oranges. Yeah. Comparing them, I'm just saying, the law is the law. Sure, oh, yep, exactly. So. Um, those are the ones that I've noticed, because most of the bars are on that end of Main Street, anyways, yeah. you know, or the places that are serving alcohol. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so the one other thing I wanted to ask about was with, you know, um, Iron Horse Entertainment Group properties being in the news yes. again, in anticipation of anybody asking those questions about the licenses that Eric Schubert holds, because he's been called to task in the past for not using or holding on to a license. Um, I, I don't feel completely up to speed on like the current status of his license situation, so is everything being used appropriately is there still a license sitting at the church? It's kind of a can of worms, but I think it's also, we're going to be asked about it. Pretty sure that we took a license and he took the one from the church and hoped and moved the it to the green room. room. Okay. There's no license at the church. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't know if he has another pocket license out there. He does not. He does. He does. So, okay. okay. Um, but I would. Plant. There's, I, based on news articles, it sounds like people are um, filing the AG's office. Yes. Which, yeah. That, in turn, for will require him to get a wage off their wage off. If he's found not a mild wage off. Yes. Not paying what he should. Yes. Yeah. So, um, I'm going to have to talk to Attorney Sewell because I know he wanted to have one point come to a meeting. To discuss kind of the procedure of how we go about getting people here and how we go about getting like arriving at a, I don't know how. Right, because initially it was advised that we have three times the fine, which for the first okay. wage violation it was an appropriate amount of money, but for the second wage violation it became a quite large bond that was required and they contested that. That would be helpful because then it's not, you know, if we have something, a policy that we can follow and won't feel so, you know, arbitrary or necessary to have individual conversations. Yeah. Mm -hmm.